Turn it on, brother. Turn it on. The Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> first learned to play. Well, that's been a long time, but uh, I believe uh, my mother taught me to do the first picking, the old claw hammer style, and uh, I guess I'll have to give her credit for, uh, for starting me out on the banjo, as I've told many times. Way back when she was young, they used to have, uh, you know, old-time dances and, and uh, bean strangings and things like that, and and they would like a little entertainment, you know, with things like that. People used to, back in them days, years ago, used to gather around, you know, like that. And they enjoyed it. And if uh, some family somewhere had a lot of beans they needed to pickle or needed to can, while well, the neighbors would come in and help them. And then they'd have them a little, a little enjoyment along with it. And back years ago, you know, they, they used to have these dances at uh, maybe at somebody's private home or something. They'd gather in on a Saturday night. And, I've heard my mother say that she'd uh, maybe like hold corn. I don't know if you know what that means or not, but hold corn right here in the fields you're sitting in right now, maybe till all day on Saturday, and maybe walk three miles and then play all night till uh, daylight. They'd have it all night, daylight the next morning. right here on this place and uh, we started playing here at uh, neighbors houses and at our school where we went to school we were just a couple of little country boys barefoot boys back in the sticks you know and we didn't uh, we didn't ever dream of anything like this I used to listen to the Mainers Mountain years, years, ago, years ago in the Carter family. People like uh, Monroe Brothers, Bill Monroe, and uh, people like that. We started in October 1946 in WNVA, Norton, Virginia, and we worked there about 30 days and then moved into Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee, and started an hour show there each day called Farm and Fun Time. Uh, 
our program got sort of got popular that where we played, and uh, I'd say by in a year's time we got a call from Columbia Records. That's a little thing there called the Clinch Mountain Backstep. That's a number that Ralph wrote, too, uh, by the way. Made it up out of his own head and had enough wood left to build a fire with. <laughs> All right. You are listening now to Ralph and Carter Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys. Uh, Carter, why don't you introduce all the Clinch Mountain Boys? Be glad to, uh, Pete. We'll get that done right in a hurry, and let's take the biggest one first. Back here with a guitar from the state of North Carolina is George Shuffler. He's been around with us for... What have you been around with us for? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon about story. 15 years, something like that. And with the fiddle back here behind me, Don, come on around here. Maybe we can get a better view of you uh, from uh, the state of West Virginia. West Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Point Pleasant. That's on the Ohio River, I believe. Right. right? That's right. Don... Miller does a good job with the fiddle there. He's learning. How long have you been playing the fiddle? 20 years? About that. Well, you'll learn in another 20. Thank you, Don. <laughs> Back here with the bass fiddle, clean from the state of Georgia. That's unusual, but he is. <laughs> and uh, that's Chick Striplin. Howdy, girl. <laughs> Carter was, he was usually the front man. He did the MC work, and, uh, and I more or less stayed back in the background a little more, you know. Takes a word man to sing a word song. Takes a word man to sing a word song. Takes a word man to sing a word song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. I went down. Of course, after Carter passed away, well, I really didn't know what the people would think and how they would accept it without him. And uh, I really didn't know. I wanted to go on, and I felt like he would want me to. And uh, I know inside of three weeks, I guess, after he was buried, I got I don't know how many hundred phone calls and cards and letters uh, telling me that they had been our fans and were still behind me, and I couldn't quit. Well... I knew it would be real hard, you know, to do. I'd been so many places with him, and and to go back to so many places, you know, would bring back memories and things. When I'm gone, when these lips shall never more place a kiss upon my brow, but like home still. thankful that I've been successful. My mother played the five-string banjo some. She played the claw, what we call claw, claw hammer style. With the other uh, banjo playing, you use two fingers and a thumb with picks, you see, and you just pick out the strings. 
with uh, the claw hammer, the way I do, you know, you, you, you don't use any picks and you use your thumb and I pick down on it most of the time. hand for Ralph Stanley and the Clinch Mountain Boys. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's what you want, that's what you'll get. Folks, I'd like to tell you about our 13th annual Memorial Bluegrass Festival down to Stanley Brothers' old home place, down in the hills of Virginia, and it'll be next Memorial Weekend. I believe it starts on Thursday, the 26th of May, runs Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's close to Coburn, Virginia, twixt McCoburn and McClure, Virginia. If you can, come down and be with us. We'll have a lot of the old traditional bluegrass music there for you next year on Smith Ridge, Coburn, Virginia. And I like this part of the country, and I can get all the work that I need to do or want to do here. And a lot of people have asked me, why don't you live in Nashville or somewhere? Well, I said, I don't want to because I can get all I want to do right here and get home. Thank you, music lovers.